So how do we tell if the system is uh, inconsistent or has many solutions? Inconsistent meaning that there's no solutions. Well, here's a system that's one or the other. So let's work through our addition methods here and figure out what will happen. Let's try to get the x's eliminate. And so doing, let's multiply the top one by a three and bottom one by a negative two. Whoops, I need to change colors for that one. There, negative two. All right, so scale that one by three. This becomes a 12x plus an 18y equals 36. The bottom one, scale it by negative two. So negative 12x, negative 18y equals minus 24. So there's an equivalent system. Add my x's together, they drop out. My y's also drop out, so I have zero equals 12. Zero equals 12 is a false statement or an untrue statement. And like we saw earlier, when we get a statement that's false or untrue in our solution work, that means that this system has no solution. You guys all right? Up? All right, remember that. And what happens if we get many solutions? How would that look out as we try to eliminate a variable with the addition method? So let's multiply or scale the top one by a factor of two, which again means that I multiply the left and right side by two. So two times four X becomes a four X minus a two Y equals a six. The second equation is four X plus two Y. That one's unchanged. Add them up and looks like, whoops, that's a negative right there. It looks like the X's cancel, the Y's cancel. So I get zero equals zero. Or what I get is a true statement. It doesn't matter that it was zero that equals zero. Any true statement would have demonstrated that this system has multiple solutions or infinitely many solutions, which means if I were to graph them, they land on top of each other. So we can also solve a system by the addition method through eliminating a variable that also produces many solutions or infinitely many solutions.